This is a video response to my friend Jordan Crumbine. Hey Crumbine, I hope your brain is doing well. I, I really enjoyed uh, the video, the conversation you had with yourself about the issue of religion in this world. And I think you hit all the right notes. I think you're right in many, many ways, but I do want to push you. I just want to push you in one direction. And we were talking about this on my blog as well. And, and I appreciate the spirit of this conversation. Let me just say that. Where I'd like to challenge us, all of us who are in YouTube, in this world, in Crumbination, uh, in this, this collaborative place that we've discovered for ourselves, we're creating for ourselves, is similar to YouTube to treat religion in a sense like we treat YouTube to understand that religion is in a sense a craft and it is a tool for expression, what you do with it and all of its beauty and its glory and its complication. What you do with it is what matters. There are so many ways to take something that even is what I hope is a compassionate system of belief like Christianity and twist it and turn it and make it into something cruel the same way that YouTube can be a wonderful way to form collaborative, creative, generative community. It can also be a place to screw people over and mess things up and to treat each other horribly. Now, I will say that unlike YouTube, religion is not really a technology. But it's not really just technology, is it? Because religion makes claims that YouTube doesn't. No one on YouTube really claims that YouTube built the world. YouTube created the universe. We were all created in YouTube's image, though there are days when I wonder um, if we weren't. So religion does make different claims in us. Religion does have something else to say, and the variety of world religions have a different spin on this. And let me also finally push this this way. I don't know that there's any escape from the kind of violence that we're encountering right now. Um, there is no tool that can help us through. There is no lack of tools that can help us through. There is no way to rid ourselves of religion, hoping that this violence will go away. I really do believe, and I know this sounds horribly cynical to some, but I really do believe that if we didn't fight over religion, or fight in the name of religion, or fight via the ideals of religion, we would find another reason to kill one another. We'd do it in the name of democracy. We'd do it in the name of capitalism. We'd do it in the name of civil discourse. We would do it in the name of love if we needed to. Human beings are violent. And the sooner we come to terms with that, the better off we're all going to be. Um, I think to own it, to claim it, and then to find a way to rid ourselves of it in a way that's actually helpful and not just puritanical is the way to go. But that might be a utopian dream all of its own. That's my pushback. Um, and yeah, I filmed this in my church. <laughs> Thanks. I'll talk to you later.